In this class we will add tolerances and annotations to the detail views, ending it. With the detailing of the previous class open, let's go. First, let's add shape and position tolerances. For this, we select the desired dimension and see that in the property manager various options and properties are displayed, including the tolerance, precision field. Using this field, we can enter positioning tolerance for a dimensional. Expanding the first listing of the tolerance, precision field, we can choose the type of tolerance that we will add. Note that for each selected option, different options are shown. For example, let's select the bilateral option. Note that we can enter two values, that is, the upper and lower limit. We define as shown and automatically the dimensional is updated and shown with tolerance. We can also change the accuracy by modifying the number of squares displayed, both for the dimensional value and for the tolerance values. We added tolerances and other dimensionals, as shown. To add the same tolerance for other dimensions, we must use the format Pander Thule, accessed in the Tools menu. See, with the Active tool, just click on the dimension with the tolerance and then click on the dimension we should apply it to. Dot all right, all right. We quickly reapply the tolerance to the desired dimensions. Note that if a dimension already contains tolerances, such as this defined with the limit style, when using the format painter tool. Selecting a bilateral style tolerance, only the bilateral style is applied, but tolerance values are maintained. To enter shape or geometry tolerances, SolidWorks provides specific tools. First we define the reference faces using the datum feature tool. By activating this tool, we define the naming that will be used and the style of the arrow and click on the entities where we want to apply the reference. Then, with the tool geometric tolerance, we will apply the shape tolerance. By activating the tool, a box is opened where we can choose the tolerance symbol and set the value. The preview is shown in the mouse cursor and we can click and position the tolerance. Then, with the box still open, we can set another tolerance and position. When we finish the applications, we confirm the box. Now we will add two annotations to this drawing, using the note Thule. Just activate the command and click on the desired location on the sheet. Then type the text and configure the font.
After adding the two annotations, with different fonts, we will use the Format Painter tool. The first annotation we select is the one that will have the copied style and the second one will suffer the application of the style of the other note, note.alright, alright. Our breakdown is finished and ready for use by the manufacturing department, or shop floor. We have seen in this class how to enter tolerances and annotations, and also how to use the Format Painter tool, which streamlines this process.